Last week at Bristol, the Vandalay Industries night race was a war zone. We let early on, we started up front, let early on, then decided to go down the wrong pit road on the first round of pit stops like a, just a buffoon. And then we had to get back on track, tighten the strap, literally had to get back on track, and we tightened the straps and had to work our way back from P24. Started being a little bit aggressive with our passes, but then the wrecks started coming. Bristol became Bristol. We were surviving as the race wore on, but we started getting more and more banged up. Late in the race, a caution flag almost caught us a lap down on pit road, which would have kind of stopped our momentum, but we barely beat the pace car and we ended up staying on the lead lap in contention for a win. But unfortunately, we just kept on getting banged <laughs> and we had just held on for dear life at the end, driving a blob of sheet, of sheet metal. And we ended up coming in P3, Dr. Tobias Funke got his second win of the season. And now taking a look at the race for the Heinz packet with seven races remaining. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man still in the catbird seat, but DB Cooper now has dropped to fifth, the lowest he's been in a really long time. Homer Simpson, though, he's been on fire. He's just been on fire. And it's, he's now in third. Mona Lisa Vito also hanging out up there. The closest she's ever been. Steve Jaws back in business. Randy Marsh is up there. Super Dave Osborne. Michael Jackson. We're all within striking distance, man. The the, the Bristol the Bristol race has changed everything. Uh, Andy Van Slyke sitting there 11th in the pervert seat. But given how we flipped the grid every race, the points battle being somewhat close now is kind of a, mir of a mirage since the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and D.B. Cooper had bad Bristols. They're starting... They're starting at the top of the field here. Uh, Stay Puff starting P5, DB Cooper P2, Homer Simpson, us, and Randy Marsh are all starting bottom 10. Steve Jobs starting 28th, Mona Lisa Vito starting 19th. Everybody needs another. If we really want the points battle to, to get extremely tight, we need another drop from uh, Marshmallow Man and DB Cooper. I just don't see it happening here at Martinsville, but that's why they race the races. All right, we're getting ready to go at Martinsville. Quick intro to the race. Rosa Parks on the pole. We had to hurry up and catch up to the field because they can't. I don't know, we're off. A bunch of cars were being weird. We have moderate damage. Didn't want a weird Martinsville to affect the Heinz Packet points race. It took about four or five. It took about four or five tries to get this race going. It has nothing even has didn't have didn't even have anything to do with wrecks. It was just just a couple of the cars in the back of the field just kept on wrecking each other before the green. It was weird. I mean, my name's Adam. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for. Tuning in for the season, especially down the stretch here. A lot of high drama going on. Stay high. Still there. We're starting on the outside of this race, which I guess is good since on my spreadsheet that I keep track of all the tracks, <laughs> I said the outside is the place to be here at this version of Martinsville. Because on the inside, we just can't break with them. But on the outside, we can kind of hold it. So we'll be in good shape. We're doing 150 laps here. Um, I did 150 laps in the 2005 season at Martinsville, and it was great. Uh, I try to stay between 50 and 60 minutes of real-world time for these races. And 21, we'll eventually be getting into 21 second laps. And 21 times 150 divided by 60 is about 52 and a half. And then 175 laps would be into into 60. So it's it's one of the weird tracks that I can't find a, a sweet spot in the mid 50s. Although I could always just say. Go into the INI &I file, change the default number of laps for the race, and get an exact minutes 
like 55 minutes exactly. But I'm not doing that. Yeah, Rosa Parks had the pole. Usually sometimes I'm at a loss for words in the early going because if there's been a restart, I forget what I've talked about. But I haven't even been able to actually drop the green flag yet. This is the first time I've, we've actually dropped the green flag. Don't don't recall having that problem last season in 2005 here, but that's I don't think I was doing full uh, pace laps before the races. Or maybe I was. I don't know. All right, we've been hanging out on the outside. Let's go to the inside, see what we got going on here. Clear. Because we do have the leaders eventually coming for us. And, I mean, you, this is just going to be tough sledding here, man. It's with, with this, I knew this was going to be difficult. Um, especially with these cars all being 100% equally solid at pretty much the top of my talent and skill range. Car Clear. Gonna be tough. And with moderate damage, we're protecting the other cars so they aren't stupid and take themselves out of the race. But then that works against us because they won't be stupid and take themselves out of the race. And we won't be able to gain some uh, cheapo spots somewhere, you know? And then speaking of cheapo spots, let's not try to beat the system on pit road because usually you can you can decide, hey, I'm not going to pit with them. I'm going to wait an extra lap or two because pit road gets so congested that you can end up just gaining time by not pitting with everyone else. So forget the exact pit window but as soon as we hear the leaders pitting now we pit if it, if we reasonably have enough time to to stop and set up to go into pit road we'll pit that will be our that will be our pit trigger this race <laughs> this is gonna be this is uh, this is just tough Martinsville can be fun we're actually getting good bite out of the turns I'm I'm, I'm surprised I'm surprised we're doing this well thanks to you okay uh, I'm surprised we're doing this well early considering I didn't really practice Yeah, we'll try to keep an eye on... Oh, Funke, shit. Yeah, we'll try to keep an eye on... Oh, man. Cameron Fry's not running a nice line here. Messing me up. We'll try to keep a an eye on the... All the points contenders and whatnot, but... I gotta take care of what's in front of me first here, which is actually not getting lapped. We had gained a spot on Tobias Funke there for a while. I mean, it's it's not ideal to just stay in 40th and then start at Rockingham and and say, oh, everything's gonna be great. Oh, I thought we had the speed on him, but then I, I had the shift. We lost that jump we had. Uh, yeah, we could start. We could finish 40th here and start on the pole at Rockingham, and everything will be gravy. But no, we want to gain some points here, gain some spots, and maybe start in the teens at Rockingham, and then work our way up at Rockingham and. Uh, 
We'll see. But we are just in a stalemate right now, man. There is... There's nothing we can do right now. As I suspected and as I feared. Like, there's just... There, there's just no moves to be made right now. And this is this is fun, but it's also frustrating. And it's going to get even more so once, you know, we're not even racing. We don't even, we don't even have an AI car breathing on us yet. Wait till we have the AI really on us. Oh, why don't I have their get up and go, man? That's that's getting annoying. They're beating me down the street. They're beating me down the look at this. Still there. Keep low. I don't remember that in our 2005 season. Maybe we just gotta maybe we just gotta crash and bang. Oh, look at that. What is that? I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. All right, after a bunch of chaos on pit road, we're a lap down because we were late going into our stall, and the the pace car just caught up to the field by the time we got to pit road. So we were a lap down. It's all relative. We just got to gain spots on cars. Like it's not, <clears throat> we're not winning the race. You know. I need, I need to, I need to figure something out here with this, uh, with this AI bullshit because I can't, uh, I don't have any speed for them on the straights. I guess, I guess just, I guess we just stay to the outside. I mean, that's it. We can't run the inside line. We run the inside line, we have no speed for them. And the only way to battle that is to stay outside. I'll do that. And I even said, I even, I even mentioned at the beginning of this race, I had that in my notes. In big red letters. And then I... Just my bravado, I was like, oh, let's go to the inside, see what's there. And then there was nothing there, and I'm crying like a child about what's going on. Because I'm not listening to former me trying to help out future, present me. So now we're in good shape. We just stay to the outside. Apparently we're three wide right now. Wayne Campbell's got to relax, man. We're, we're just... He's back there in the blue car. Trying to get his shit together. <laughs> it's because I can't... I'm trying to handle a lot of things at once here. Uh, let's be mindful not to take out any points, contenders. Let's not... Let's, not, let's try not to affect the, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man's race here. Let's not put him in the wall, do anything stupid, Clear. you know? Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. Yeah, you can see we hang. We can hang with him on the outside, and that's this, that's just. Clear inside. Car inside. This is our life now. What will, what will our, tow, our, our tires look like after 55 laps? I don't know. But we're not getting a, we're not getting our lap back. I think Rosa Parks is at least in the lead here. 
behind the 27 car has the one car. If we see pit, pit road is now are we going to see pit stops again? We're not on the lead lap. Yeah, they are going. The leaders are going to pit again. Going green. All right, getting ready to go green. A bunch of cars ended up a lap down during pit stops. So we have some positions to gain in front of us, but unfortunately we're on the inside line. We're going to be on the inside line all race long on restarts. So we want this to sort itself out so we can... Green, green, green. You got to go there, McDundee. I don't know what you were doing there. But we just got to move to the high side. The, the, the bottom line is too frustrating. Amelia Earhart out in the lead here. Not sure where the all the big dogs went. I know DB Cooper's in front of us, right here. Marshmallow's in top ten, and I just don't have time to look at the standings. And then another caution kind of will probably change everything anyway. So we'll see how everything shakes out at the end. But this is actually this is actually a good ex fun experience on the outside. Like this is it feels like Martinsville. It's just we're making passes on the outside instead of the inside. Still there. Clear. Still there. Still there. All right, you guys getting bunched up here is really putting Mona Lisa Vito right on me. Do not like this at all. You're up top, three wide, car inside. Car inside. You're up top, three wide, inside. Clear. Looked inside. like there was going to be another wreck there. This is something I did not foresee. Although we've been talking about it all season long. How the all these equally elite AI cars would handle short tracks. And I thought they handled Bristol pretty well. A lot of cautions that last Bristol race, but nothing crazy. And I'm hoping we can get through some laps here at Martinsville without another, without uh, any more cautions for a while. Uh, we did lose Jack Burton under a caution. He did a header into a pit wall. I guess he just got stuck there and had the DNF. Mona Lisa Vito plows into us there into that turn. Just get used to it. We're still... I, I, I'm... I'm, I'm Hoping to make passes and trying to figure out who to pass. Cameron Fry is right there. I can see that on my standings thing, but I'm not really. I don't have time to look at that crap. Uh, yeah, we're just P38 right now. Hoping for something. I can, well, they're they're stopping in front of me there, Vito. There's nothing I can do. What an impatient woman. Clear. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I, again, I, I I don't have time to look at shit. Keep high. Keep Let's high. just Let's keep our heart rate down. And I guess we're, we're battling Wayne Campbell here for a position. Man. I mean, that's... The, the, high line's, the high line's fun to run, but we can't make a pass up there. 
Do you see that jump they get when we shift gears? They don't get that when we're on the high side. So, Mona Lisa Vito is just in my ass. I, I can't take it. Still there. Still there. Clear inside. Car inside. We, need the, we need the fill to go single file here. Every caution is just going to be a plague. It's just going to bunch everybody up again, and they're going to be running side by side. And we just can't make any passes right now. There's just no way around it. The cars are just too evenly matched. Guessing we're gonna have the leaders on us here soon too. And it's not like we're getting passed by cars. We just can't make passes. Eventually, I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to get Wayne Campbell out of here. It's just the facts of the case. Getting into kind of a rhythm now. What helps is Mona Lisa Vito just not being in our lower intestine in the turns anymore. Like just having not not having to worry about a car right on you in the turns is freeing. And I don't know what I don't know what Wayne Campbell's doing. I don't know what he's doing. He's just he's just Was he trying to pit? I I have no clue. No clue at all. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind the 18 car. But we can't pit here. We can't go two laps down. Pit road is now open. But if we don't pit here, we're gonna have to pit under green and lose even more laps. Okay, calm down, everybody. No tires this time, guys. Limit 35. Keep it under 35. Go. In seconds. The pace cars on the back straight. We're just fueling up. You're too far forward. Back up. We'll give you one can of fuel. The the tempers are up right now, man. Go, go, go. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 3500. We fuel it up so we don't go a lap down. In turn three. Sorry, I'm not going I'm not going another turn four. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in seconds. The pace cars on the front the, the pace car is just on it's just on you. If you're at the back of the pack trying to pit here. The track is so short. God help us, we're going green. <laughs> so, we uh, we uh, most of these cars probably put on tires. I have no idea. I know we're P37 still. I don't know where Wayne Campbell went. Maybe he DNF'd. He was just being a weirdo. I don't know. But we're kind of just flicking our wang down here, waiting to get up to the high line. And we're up there. But we're going to have Dutch Vanderlyn on us, a la Mona Lisa Vito, and he wants to go three wide. Because he's a, he's a, 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 
a rat bastard. And we're spun around. I'm guessing that was a four wide situation. Thought I was giving them plenty of room. I had been giving them the same kind of room all race long. All right, now I can actually play the game and enjoy it. You know, just have just mindlessly running some laps here and just escaping reality for a while. Man, just go, Jesus, Lord in heaven, Dutch Vanderlin. Like he's like, well, you're running the high line, well I'll just run it with you, Jack, and then just get into you in the turn. No, just go around them. Just go around us. Clear. Inside. Clear. Yeah, so the points battle, us moving up, it's definitely a mirage. Car inside. Clear inside. The. Car inside. This Martinsville, we just cannot. You just can't gain spots. And if we want to run Martinsville in the future, I mean, that's just a fact of the matter. Is you just cannot gain spots here. How how would we gain spots by turning up the difficulty or turning down the difficulty? But let's not do that. All right, I'm going to cool down here for a few laps. We got 80 laps to go. Amelia Earhart out in the lead. Rosa Parks, the pole sitter, sitting top five. AT&T Lily, Stay Puff is up there. DB Cooper running 14th. You know how it is. Everyone has right. stuff that they eat that maybe other people may not find as appetizing. Like when you dip your, dip your chicken fingers into <laughs> quiet. Dip your chicken fingers into What does soda. he do? He dips his chicken I fingers know, into the nice soda. Try. Oh, that's right. Yes. yes. Hello, yes. YouTube. That was nothing until you made it into something. Thanks, Greg. It was like, <laughs> boom, gone. I know. I, I know. know. Anyway, let's talk. We're, we turned in a 21-4 somewhere during commercial, but there's just, there's nothing we can do right now. There's just no passes to be made. We had fun with this setup. We had fun with this track in 2005. It's just with all the equally matched cars, it's just, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do. So... Andy Warhol's back here. He's actually behind us in the standings, a couple laps down. And I need you to go to the inside there, Andy Warhol. Why are you doing that line? What a weirdo. I'm guessing Andy Warhol got beat up somewhere. He's been the easiest car to pass so far, no question. Even with moderate damage. And we've taken on damage on our car. I just don't know how much it's affecting us. Still there. Still there. Keep high. There's DB Cooper on the inside. I have no idea what his life is like right now. He's the last car in the lead lap, 22nd place. Okay, now things have set, kind of settled down now. Like, it's not as frustrating. We're actually... Clear. Car inside. We're actually being able to race here. It might be because they're... They're near... They're, they're, they're deeper into a run now. And their tires are chewed up a little bit. And we can actually have some fun here. Deep high. See, there we go. Now we're having fun. Car inside. Like, I don't want to sit in the back and just play with myself and not have a difficulty. You know, I, I want to be able to pass some cars and have some fun, not just sit in line for an hour. And we're finally starting to get that. At least we're racing. Or 
Maybe just DB was having a couple of bad laps there. Inside. Still there. Still there. Or maybe you have to lean on them in the turns and pinch them. Stay high. Just to even the playing field. Still there. Stay high. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. I'm trying to not go into... I'm trying not to shift down a gear in the turns. I have this on automatic because I'm not a psycho. So. I'm trying to stay in fourth gear. And it's very hard to do. But I do know. I think I, I, I found this pattern in 2005. That if I if I don't keep it in fourth gear, as soon as I hear it go down in the third, you got to start moving. I think a lap or two ago, I kept it in fourth the whole way through a turn, and that's how we pulled away from DB. All right. So, I mean, this is fun, but we're not gaining spots, but we're still making moves here. I just, I can't imagine how frustrating starting mid-pack or something here would be. At least in the back of the pack. At least in the back of the pack, we knew we sucked. And we knew this was our future. But starting near the front, when you need to stay up front in our flip-the-grid point system, like... That would just be so frustrating, not being able to make passes and having to deal with the likes of Dutch Vanderlyn and Mosa, Mona Lisa Vito being in your body the whole race. I just can't, I can't imagine what that'll be like. Now, knowing this... This is such a frustrating track. I think I'm just going to put this... Going forward, I'm just going to put this at in the first half of the season. When we're still, you know, kind of loose. Feeling out the season. Rather than putting it at the end where... When... The tensions are up, the drama is up. Yeah, I decided not to really roll my sleeves up and mess with the track signage at this Martinsville. You can see the next time we come out of the turn, you'll see the moving video board there in the infield coming up here on the left. I found all the individual frames they use for that quote-unquote video, so we'll be able to change that to whatever we want. Here comes the leader. That's why I will want to run this Martinsville again, because... Uh, in the downtime between seasons, I will be putting a video on there. I just don't know what yet. Not even sure who we'll race as in our next fictional season. Which, again, I'm still banking on uh, Here comes the Craftsman winner. Truck Series. I just need, if, if, if I can get them to run um, cup speeds and cup physics, that's a lock. And I'll, I'll look to have a more modern um, mod, not do like, you know, the early 90s stuff later. like we've been doing, but I don't know. All right, we got some pitters, more than a couple, so I think the stops have begun. And we'll just go in now. I know I said earlier... Here comes the leader. Outside. Clear outside. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 3,500 in second. I know I said earlier we won't go in unless we hear the leaders pitting now, but that's when we thought we had a chance to win. Go. 
go, go. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 35. Not even a chance to win, just a chance to actually gain spots. You know? We're probably 17 laps down now. And a caution would kind of end our race. Just no more DNFs. I just don't want any more DNFs on our stat sheet. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 3,500. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Outside. Clear. Okay, merge when you can. All right, we're, we're with some different cars now. That's... Let's behave. We're probably we probably have faster we probably have better tires than them. Keep high. Clear inside. Come on, get me down. Car inside. Keep high. Keep high. I guess Lily's down there. I haven't even seen her. Looks like Lily dove down into the pits. I'm just hoping we gain some spots during this round of stops here. The leader's pitting now. Looks like Homer Simpson's probably going in eventually. Well, Michael Scott is. Clear. It's it's imperative that we turn in some fast laps right now. Indiana Jones says, I'm not pitting, son. So we still have to deal with him in our hair. But he's got to be pitting soon. I think that's him going in now. Yep. I mean, this is our best bet to gain spots. Hopefully we can at least catch up to Cameron Fry, who we've been chasing for most of the race. But it looks like, uh, I don't know, let's see if we can. We just passed Cameron Fry on pit road. These are the last round of pit stops. We only have the leaders pitting now. 150 laps and then we only had about 50 lap pit window and we've had some cautions. So that's all she wrote on the pit stops. So we won't see any more, even if some cautions come out. But hey, once the everything's settled down here, we had we've had a bunch of green flag laps, and my nerves have settled down. The frustrations have melted away, and now it's just my arm hurts <laughs> from cranking this wheel. All right, we gained a spot. Here comes the leader. Still we gained a spot. Somewhere, inside. somehow. We were P37 for uh, the longest time, I think. Car now we're 36. Still there. We're coming for you, brother. Stay high. Hannibal Lecter is... The next car for position, he's about four cars ahead of us. I can see him. Inside. Now we actually have a goal. Now we actually have something to fight for, you know? Here comes the this is Guy Fieri Stay and Michael Jackson in front of us. You can probably guess which one is which if you haven't been watching the season. That's Al Bundy on the inside in the brown car behind us. Yeah, pretty content. Pretty content with what we ended up with on the uh, Michael Jackson paint scheme adventure. Could have been it from the get go. That could have been the paint scheme from the beginning. If 
you have any idea, if you have any uh, suggestions, ideas, tips on drivers for our next fictional series, leave a comment. As I say, I mean, it can't just be some obscure character from <clears throat> from just some obscure show that's a cult show, you know. Unless I know, unless I enjoy the cult show, you know, <laughs> then I'll be I'll be all about it. But uh, usually just easily accessible pop culture references. Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz is holding a press conference at uh, Kansas uh, Speedway in a, in a few races from now. Gotta wonder what she's going to be announcing. Oscar the Grouch was seen in the garage this weekend as well. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has... Asked about fielding a team. And the. Uh, I think it's. I think it's. I think those are the only ones I remember. I mean, I. When I'm out and about and I'm doing stuff, I'm out grocery shopping or I'm out doing whatever. If I think of a driver and something funny for a uh, sponsor. I'll just whip out my phone right then and there and jot it in my notes app. Hey, we stayed in fourth gear that turn. You can hear us really whine the engine at the end of that straight there. All right, we've kept it in fourth gear a few, few turns in a row now. Man, I would just have to be exact on that every lap. And I'm not a professional driver, so I cannot do that. But we're doing it pretty consistently now. Hopefully that doesn't mean the engine's about to blow or something. Well, Guy Fieri, what are you doing, pal? We were having a lot of fun. And he's like, no, I'll just, I'll just go up, I'll just go up to the the high side for no reason. Still there. I'm thinking maybe he was giving us room to pass him, but. No thanks. I'm passing you on the outside, Jack. Alright, we're still trying to track down Hannibal Lecter up here. Ah, come on. Historic, historic battle with Al Bundy right now. Yeah, they just, just an ebb and flow tit for tat to this racing style. If we eventually want to make the pass, we got to pinch them like that. But they don't get—they don't get scared. They do not get scared out of running that line. It just slows them up a little bit when we lean on them. I really wanted Hannibal Lecter's ass. Keep 
We just gotta have another. We just have. We. I. I can't. I. I just cannot put together two, two consecutive good turns to get a pass. I'm just not that good. And I think that's the bar. The, uh, that's the bar we have to meet here. And I've done it a few times this race, but. Oh, we're just trying to pass uh, Bundy here. Wait till we, we still have to we still have to pass Guy Fieri and Hannibal Lecter up here. Just to gain a freaking spot. <laughs> I don't have time to look at the standings. I apologize. I have no idea who's out in the lead. Rosie the Riveter and Amelia Earhart. Rosie the Riveter's in the lead. And they've been kind of... They've been kind of front and center for most of the race. We got, we got 12 laps to go. We just can't get around Al Bundy. Trying some kind of different strategy here. Like a big diamond like that? Is that what we have to do here? But now we're just back in the muck. And now Bundy's on us again. I mean, such is a short track. That's not... This, this isn't, this isn't woe is me, the world owes me something. It's just the frustrations of short tracks. This will feel as good as a win if we can get past Hannibal Lecter for a position here. At the end. Still there. All right, Tim Taylor. Still there. Stay high. Still there. Come on, Tim Taylor. I need you to just Keep do high. something. I don't think he's good. I don't think he's fast enough. I think we're the AI just isn't fast enough on this high side to get the job done. Oh man, we ran a twenty-one-two somewhere. Good for us. Tool man, you gotta go, man. Clear inside. Inside. Oh, we got a three wide Clear. situation in front of us, hoping hoping we don't get a caution. So I'm gonna see if we can make this pass. But Tim Taylor's just gonna be tiptoeing. With these cars going three wide, he's just going to be tiptoeing through these turns now. Wow, it's, it's been consistently three wide for the last, gosh, at least three or four laps. And we're going to lose Hannibal Lecter. I tried to, I tried to break there and tried to go to the inside of Tim Taylor. That didn't work. 
That was our only chance. Oh, that's right, Andy Warhol's uh, Andy Warhol's slow. That's why they were having trouble with him. So now the frustration's back. I mean, it's just it's just so hard with this difficult. It's too evenly matched. Cannot gain spots. I, I said this like an hour ago. Okay, let's not get spun out by Andy Warhol and lose some, lose a position. But we'll come in P35. And let's go. Let's get the hell out of Martinsville. Oh, that's right. We still got one more lap. Still, let's, 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 let's get the bleep out of Martinsville. Like I said, we'll be putting Martinsville early in the schedule going forward just so we don't have to deal with this frustration with a championship on the line. Yeah, I tell you what. I record this, this race recap. It's the last thing I do before I render the video and upload it. And just editing the video and scrolling through, I can hear the frustration in my voice. And then finally I said, you know what? Let's have fun. But the first, the first handful of laps, half of this race really, I was beside myself on the struggle bus. But we made it. Uh, Michael Jackson, Tim Taylor, and Steve Jobs got the bonus points here. Rosie the Riveter is getting all 50 bone, all 50 points. She got the extra bonus point for leading the lap. And the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man stayed in the top 10. And you could tell how, you can tell that there really wasn't a lot of uh, passing to be made here. I think this is the, this first page, it's really glaring how many uh, top 10 drivers ended up, you know, started top 10 and finished top 10. I wish I had a Telestrator. I could probably make one in post, but uh, Randy Marsh finished P16. He's been he's been crawling up the standings ever so slightly, and you know he had a top 10 finish um, at Bristol, and here he is. Didn't get a top 10 here, but you can see he he, he climbed the standings here, and he's going to have. A decent starting position at Rockingham next race. We got to be on the lookout for him. On the third page, Homer Simpson just couldn't get anything done here. Uh, he, he's hanging out in the top ten as well as we talked about. And nothing else to discuss. Steve Jobs just damn shame. Just he's just falling apart as the season's worn as the season's uh, worn on. And then on the back page, I think I mentioned Je uh, Jack Burton did a header into the pit wall, and that's what caused his DNF. And you can see, just like the first page, a bunch of uh, top 10 starters ended up top 10. You can see a lot of bottom 10 starters finish bottom 10 here. So there's definitely not a lot of passing to be had here at Martinsville. And you can see we did finish P35, gained spots from our starting position, but we got to move on and we are moving on we're moving on to Rockingham and we're going to be starting in the top six drivers but I think we'll be starting sixth one two three four yeah we'll be starting sixth on the outside we'll just have to get down I'm already planning on it well, I'm already planning it we got to get down to the out inside early there and we won't have to deal with lap traffic it's just we're gonna we're gonna ride that and try to get a win and then go to Talladega the next race start 40th and try to get another win or a top 10 that is our path to the championship the Heinz packet I'll see you at the rock <laughs> 